What's up, everybody? I'm Becca Sapphire, and welcome to Mary's Room. Let's start the game. I don't know. It, it looks really cool from the pictures that I saw, and I did watch Jack play it for a little bit. I didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? I don't want to go back down. Nah, right, bitch. Whoa, this place looks kind of cool. Oh, cool, they got one of those... They got one of those things where um, it switches pictures with, like, a tablet. Those things are cool. I have one of those in my living room. Stairway looks nice. Volume of this game is up way too much. Is there a way for me to fix that? Like... I don't think there's a way for it. Well, yeah. All right. What do we got here? California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Damn, bitch. You still gotta drive and shit. No entry unless you're a tourist from the future. I I really want this. That's awesome. This looks nice. Bumblebee. That that's a cute name for a cat. At least I assume it's a cat. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Kelsey. Oh, because you're talking, talking now. To you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard. unconditionally I did what I did because of you and I stood up to him because of you but you I don't know right now I can't be near you so I don't want you to come find me I promise I'll be all right Marie well, this place looks cool except she wouldn't be she would not be all right This place looks awesome. This is like my future fucking dream room right here. Oh my god, this place looks tumblery as fuck. Got a little phone. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I know he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Okay. What's this? Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. So are you just gonna read all of this? Cause hey, I'm cool if you're doing my job, but you know it's still my job. Don't wanna seem lazy here. Well, more lazy than I already am. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Huh. I know how that can feel like. It feels like shit. Oh, I got the sparkly. Let's hope. Oh, here we go. Oh, these sparkly shoes. Um, she wears them all the time. Last night, her heels dug into my calves. Freaking hot. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off her feet and told her, not in the bed. She was amused. I can think, I can't think why. I want to stop. To be honest, uh, I was a size 9 because they look absolutely gorgeous, huh? just on Kelsey's feet at least. Kind of creepy, but you know. When I tried them on, I looked like a little girl trying on her mom's shoes. She couldn't be a friend today. I'm not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. Okay. Wake me up when I'm famous. 
Mushroom suit. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. It was Dio. That's a really cute jacket. She asked me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? My friend Marie. She got me a new deck. And suggested I deal again. So she told you to play Russian roulette again? Doesn't sound good. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Hmm. All this stuff is freaking adorable, but it's kind of shit what they have to go through. Well, what they had to go through from what we're hearing. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house not long after we met at food rescue. He was stabbed, almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while, stitches, concussion. I'm trying she to read it. Headache, she said. Okay, let's see what's up about the cat. Oh, orange peels. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun. The yeah. trees in Mr. Jones' garden. My dad used to own an orange grove. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. When I say used to, he was a manager, but he got fired. Well, moving on from that depressing story and from the other depressing story. Let's see what else we got here. Chemistry? Holds no surprises. Love that. Maybe if I'm like closer over here, I can look at some shit. Right? Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside. Just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. I used to really like tamales. Kind of stopped eating them because, you know, I realized there was more than tamales to eat in the world. I can't remember, but some of my family used to make them by the dozen. So, like, when I would get home from daycare, there would just be this huge plate of them. Like, I know when I was little, that seemed like 50 or 60 on the plate, but it was probably more around, like, more, probably just 15 or some shit. I don't know. Trying to make comments, Eric. They're taking my job here. Usually I'm the one who says this shit. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Haryuvedic lasagna ever again. But... Oh, shit. Sorry. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Haryuvedic lasagna ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. Hmm. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes... Worse than being hungry. Hmm. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Why did you? Kill someone or some shit? Hmm. 
I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, I was losing my glamour status at school right there. So, what made you think that wearing a helmet and sparkly shoes was a good... Couldn't you just put the sparkly shoes in your backpack? You know? Damn. Damn, girl. I'm just saying. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Okay. Let's check the journal. You have that most shit in there. All right. Just stop. Why do you even rate this shit? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know. You're never gonna find them. I wish everyone would just stop, leave us alone. So I can get this whole goddamn night. Wait, is there more? Oh, there is more. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna finish reading this. Some think my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. The truth is, he never saw him coming. When that guy jumped it and stabbed my dad, something snapped. And I would have punched him, scratched his eyes out. I swear, I think I could have killed him. But... The other no one got to me before I even knew there were two. I never saw their faces near to my dad, so they never caught him. I'm not fearless. High school kid sees classmate from hunger. After the school article, article people kept asking me why I did this, as if I was some kind of hero so stupid. And I kept telling them the same story. Aren't you sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book. Okay. Life stories. Please stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here for the last time. Last fall, I caught some kid and stealing some. Oh, here for the last time, she's writing it down. Okay. Last fall, I saw some kid stealing lunch from a backpack as he stuffed a sandwich in his mouth, so eyes locked, he panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized one of my classmates were actually hungry, so I joined Food Rescue to help. There, the end. Everybody satisfied with the shit now? We have a party today, celebrating three years of Food Rescue. Everyone was there. All those happy families' faces. Loved it. Kimsey came in. I never took up for the one one of the hungry. I didn't think she knew my name, but everyone knows her. She's gorgeous. It surprised me and it's me as all. I could see the shape in her eyes when she had to attempt, attempt had to accept the bag of groceries from me. Still, I could, couldn't take my eyes off her. And this rolled someone like Chrissy Jackson to be hungry. Must be everywhere. So I'm gonna fight it for everything I got. Nothing was different. We are all, all just mad off. That's what Chrissy keeps saying, and she's right. But matter is also life, and life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be be out on a limb. She says she's not not going to lose it. Bam! She didn't even realize what she was saying. Or um, maybe I'm too sensitive. Guess that'll show me to believe that we were friends. Guess I'm just a shadow person after all. I think she's gonna need. I think she's gonna break her neck. Up, by the way, see if I care. Whoa, bitch. Alright, we got some more shit here. Chrissy is so angry at the world, like, all the time. It's kind of annoying, but... I get it. We all have a different story to tell. 
So, as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen, not wait for it. I told her to deal again. No drugs. The cards. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me, me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me. Calling me names, threatening me if I don't let Crimsy go. He'll do this and all that, and if I've got her tied up here, I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. And she took me night swimming at Mr. Jones' pool. I was scared shitless for the first time, but ah, two beers and freshly picked oranges. Chill. It's night ever. We need this beer, water, and what we need. We need this beer, water, and oranges. I feel like so many nights before Trevor. No, I am not going to let him spoil my night at the pool, but Quincy, he, with Quincy, Kelsey, Kelsey, let's call it Kelsey, because for some fucking reason I couldn't see that before. He will not, not be named, he will not be named, shall not be named, not today. Uh, let's look at three more things and then take a break. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Okay. And a little intense there, but okay. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. I don't get it. Do you like her or not? Because you're sending some really fucking mix mixed messages here, bitch. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. So, you stole it? You stole it. Alright, let's see. More shit about the food rescue. Here we go. I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. Need. And what else could I do? Kelsey ha hasn't been to food rescue in a while, and I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something. So I offered her my sandwich. Ugh, why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Get one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out. And now uh, we are behind with the project too. I hope we make the deadline. Let's see, we already with that, we already with that, and that one. Is that all? I'm gonna leave this episode here. See you guys in the next one. Bye!